everyone, it's Sizzle Labs, and this is Stoneblock. Hope everyone's had a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. Uh, in between episodes, I didn't do too much. Not much at all. But uh, let's take a look, see. We kind of move forward, man. Uh, we're getting near the end of the pack. I don't think we have a lot of episodes left. But uh, yeah, we're going to kind of hammer out, see which way we're going to head today. I think we're going to go for our transmutation tablet. That is kind of the goal. Uh, I guess the first thing I did here was this, the machine infuser. Went ahead and made this puppy uh, to infuse the builder. So you can kind of infuse machines, give them... Like different levels of power consumption this one actually increases the speed of the builder so i wanted to speed up the builder just so we can get emc a little faster i know i can make watches of flowing time i get told that like every video <laughs> i'm just looking for the right instance to actually use it i don't need it for this uh but you kind of look at that you'll see yeah we're getting emc very quickly about every 30 to 45 seconds somewhere in that range i haven't really stopped watched it or anything uh, we get another block of a tuple. It is going very fast now, so it's correct. It's grabbing the MC. The MC isn't actually our problem anymore. Uh, what is our problem is Detrodium. I have nowhere near enough, because uh, if we go to here now, check that out. Probably not that one. Let's go down here. Look at uh, Neutronium. Yeah, we only have 721, and we need way more. We probably need several more thousand. And I've had this running a long time in the pack, so yeah, definitely a problem, man. Uh, let's grab some of that. Let's also grab some sugar cane. <laughs> Because uh, we're going to get some stuff going here in a second. I need to uh, just pump that in. Uh, you can see there too, I started automatically pulling in uh, all the sugar cane too. So I'm just using translocators uh, into an inner chest. And uh, we're working pretty clean here. And, uh, doing what it's supposed to, man. Every everything's come together. Everything's just come together all around. And uh, we have a ton of EMC. Like, just look at that number. Some of it's hidden behind the book there. But uh, <laughs> the number's getting longer and longer and longer. But uh, we're going to use a bunch of that right now to make a bunch of uh, Infinity Catalyst. Kind of get that going. Grab that, and uh, I should get something crafted here, or we could just do it this way. Let's go to, uh, what is it, ingot? These? Uh, yeah, I need some of these. I don't think I taught this to the table yet, because <laughs> otherwise I could do auto-crafting, but at the same time, uh, it's probably easier to do it this way. At the same time, let's do it this way. I'm going to do some from the table right now, but I'm going to go to, I guess, Matrix. I might as well uh, get it to auto-craft this, too. Let's make, like, a thousand, because <laughs> I just have the resources in the system. Why not use it, right? It is going to use 20,000 diamonds, but that's not a big deal. But, uh, for right now, let's just grab some of them, because we are going to need that. We're going to make our first Infinity Agates, uh, is what I think we're going to do. Hopefully we've got enough materials. I, I, I'm not counting it out or anything. Let's go to you, Infinity. Go to Ingot. And uh, this is the recipe here. So it takes uh, 11 of the Infinity Catalyst, and then 2, 4, plus another 6. That is what, uh, I guess, 10 of the Matrix. And then a whole bunch of uh, Detrodium. It burns through your Detrodium super quick. So there we go. We can make 24. We're going to be making the transmutation tablet today, and that takes 8. Then I think we need we actually have the perfect number, because we're also going to make a sword. <laughs> it's going to be the sword of the cosmos, um, because uh, we need it. Let's kind of check this out. We're going to go, actually, before we do anything, let's go grab that quest. We'll kind of go over exactly everything we're going to do here. Uh, wrong page is on this one, isn't it? There we go. Claim. Sweet. What is this one here? Oh, we need to do the Draconic Armor before you can do that. But anyway, we will have to do the Draconic Armor because we are going to have to fight the Chaos Dragon at some point. Diamond Furnace. I don't think we need that anymore. Anyway, let's take a look at the Transmutation Tablet. Just to kind of figure out exactly what we're doing because I'm just kind of babbling. So the Transmutation Tablet. It's basically the Transmutation Table that you can just carry around in your inventory. Just like a wireless craft grid, right? Same basic concept. Um, it just takes uh, all these materials. We can make all this and we actually have most of this, like the HTP and all that jazz. We could do the Ender Stars. I think I have enough Dragon's Breath. I may have already done a batch of those anyway. But we need the Infinity Agates, which we have now. But we also need the Gaia Spirit Agates. To do this actually requires a ritual from Batania. It is a pretty easy ritual. We're going to have to get it done. But we're going to have to fight the Gaia Spirit a few times. Probably only have to fight the first tier one. Don't even know if we're going to bother fighting the second one. Because you can actually fight a stronger version of them. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do it this way. We're going to go ahead and make the Sword of the Cosmos do that and this thing can pretty much one shot anything and uh is pretty insane you can see here it actually says oh it doesn't say here but when i have it it'll actually say it has infinity damage <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and make one of those because it's uh utterly ridiculous let's go ahead and grab a couple more tritonium i guess let's do that sweet and uh we need some of those uh matrix as well i guess i have them in here now i'm just all over the place anyway grab the matrix sweet and uh yeah we should be able to just craft that right i got everything right i think so Let's get to you, Cosmos. Gonna have one of them. And sweet. We got ourselves a utterly amazing sword. You can see there, 1.6 attack speed. 
the durability, I don't think it actually has durability. I think it shows the durability, but I don't think it actually has it. I guess we'll see when we're using it. Um, yeah, but anyway. And uh, infinity attack damage. It literally can one-shot just about anything. Uh, there's a couple mobs I kind of read that uh, it doesn't work on. I think like the Hydra from Twilight and stuff like that. But uh, for the most point, it's just going to one-shot things. So definitely pretty cool. And uh, we got all that. We don't need any of this stuff now. So let's drop you off, drop you off, drop you off. And uh, I guess drop you off. So, okay. So we have uh, kind of the first two things we need here. We need that and that. I'll just keep that on me. The sword. We really don't need the Morning Star anymore. Let's kind of get rid of that. Guitar is useful because it's good on wood. Okay. So the next thing we need to do there is get going on our ritual. So we're going to go ahead and grab a lexicon. Uh, Batania. Open that up. I already have it set to the ritual. This is the ritual here. It takes our ritual of Gaia. To uh, craft this thing, we need four of these Gaia pylons and a regular beacon. So let's kind of get that going. Let's go to uh, beacon. Good old vanilla beacon. Sweet. Uh, we're also going to need some iron. Probably at least nine of those. I'm not very concerned with this fight. Like with the sword, it's going <laughs> to make it pretty easy. Usually it's a long drawn out process, but uh, it's going to be yeah pretty quick, I think. Especially fighting several of them. Uh, the next thing we're going to need are the pylons. We're going to need a couple of diamond, I think. And uh, we need to turn those into meta diamond. And uh, we can do that relatively quick as well. Sweet. And, uh, let's head over to the Batania area. Drop this off. Because I did chickens, it really made uh, doing Batania in this pack super easy. I didn't have to bother with it at all whatsoever, except for tiny little things, right? But anyway, let's go ahead and grab our pylons. We're going to need four of these. Awesome. And uh, grab those. And then we need to grab the Gaia Pylon. I'm going to have to craft the actual Elementium. But uh, we have chickens for that. It only gives us nuggets, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. And uh, yeah, there we go. We got our four pylons. That's cool. Probably need some placement blocks because those pylons are kind of floating in the sky. Not sky, just off the ground. I'm just thinking what else we need here. We're going to set this up in the mining dimension because uh, it could be a mess. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some obsidian. There we go. Just so nothing gets blown up. And uh, that should be good. Except for we need to actually like trigger the start of the battle. You need Terra Steel, right? So we'll go ahead and grab a stack of that. Probably drop that off. We don't need it. And uh, this should be good here, I think. Yeah. Let's head over to the mining dimension. And uh, get this battle done, man. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet. And uh, we'll be pretty done soon. So yeah, we'll just kind of head in here. And uh, I might turn off the building over here. My main world is getting a little laggy now, I have to say. Once I really kind of pumped out those uh, builders, I am starting to feel the lag in this pack. I'm actually down to 60 FPS, which I'm not used to. I'm usually well over, um, usually up to 500 sometimes, or depending on the pack. I think this one was 500 when I started it. But anyway, I'm going to turn that off. We don't need that anymore. How much diamond do we have in there? Not too bad. Anyway, that's done. I don't think I ever showed this too, the red guitar. Really neat. You can see, I was doing it here. You just uh, right click Graham. <laughs> just like AOE magically uh, creates a whole lot of farmland, which is a little weird. Anyway, that is cool. Same as the Morning Star kind of digs those holes. I was just trying them out real quick. Anyway, let's head over here, find a little area. And, uh, we don't need anything big. I just need something to make sure the main kind of multi block uh, is protected and stuff. Let's do that. Go ahead and grab you and just start wanding. Sweet. And uh, probably do the same thing this way. And yeah, we'll just get this battle done. We'll probably only have to fight him four or five times, but literally, I think that's only going to take a couple minutes because this sword is going to utterly and completely uh, wreck this, uh, this, this, this buddy. I mean, he's not going to have any chance whatsoever, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So it's semi-squarish. Looks good enough to me. Let's go ahead and uh, move that off. Let's go ahead and grab you. And uh, let's go... I did bring my lexicon. Dag it. I need to go get my Lexiton Batania really quick. Let's go home. There we go. Because uh, we can visualize it in the world. Otherwise, I'm going to be guessing where the pylons go. And uh, that seems pretty derpy. Let's do that there. Of course, I don't have a portal set up or I guess a teleport set up to the mining dimension because I haven't been over there yet. But anyway, that'll handle that. Cool. <laughs> get her done, man. Oh yeah, I'm pretty excited for this pack though. I mean, finishing it up. Uh, it is going to be much more. I don't know if I've got 100% all the quests in it. Some of them seem pretty trivial, like uh, going into Environmental Tech, which is something I didn't need at all in this pack for resources, because uh, we went at it from so many different directions, which weren't even quest lines, right? But anyway, 
There we go. We have that there. Let's grab one block of iron just so we can set this down. Speed, we'll put that right there. And uh, I guess we're going to have to unvisualize and visualize again. If we right click on that block of iron, it should pin that, which is exactly what we want. And then we can see where our pylons need to go, which is the only reason I really need it. Anyway, let's do that. Grab our beacon, pop you there, and uh, just get these uh, pylons in place and we can get this battle started. <laughs> like I said, this is going to be very hard. I just wanted to show it with this. How did I only get one Gaia pylon? What's going on? Oh no, what have I done? Let's go back in. Of course I didn't set up a teleport. I'm just derping all over the place. Go to... Oh, I didn't have enough Elementium in here? What did I do? You guys are probably going, what's, what's wrong with this guy, man? Grab some pixie dust. There we go. There we go. We finally have everything. It'll probably be our last trip over here. I'll try to stop derping, but anyway, it happens. Sweet. And uh, actually, before we do anything, let's go here. Let's go to, uh, once it loads in, go to add new. Let's just call it mining. Cool. And uh, just enter that puppy. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Anyway, get her done. So yeah, we just need to get these pylons down. Once they're done, uh, and I get things in the right place, we can start this fight. Should be uh, pretty easy. It's, it's one of the coolest fights in modern Minecraft, really is. Uh, I really don't know what's really much cooler than that. You'll see it here in a second. It is a pretty amazing, well done fight. Vasky does some pretty crazy stuff, though, I have to say. When it comes to Batania and how it looks. Him and Hellfire, man, they're just so good at making mods look pretty. Do that, do that. But this battle in particular is uh, pretty epic. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. Let's make sure our sword's ready. I usually have it in the third slot, right? That's good. We're going to grab this uh, Terra Stella. You get shift my clip that. And there you go. That is what the fight looks like right there, sort of. <laughs> he's just going to kind of spawn in. And uh, usually he's a big epic battle. He shoots these like bats at you. Let's just do that. I only need to hit him once. There you go. He's dead. <laughs> he puts uh, blocks down. Not blocks, but uh, kind of like... Uh, same thing as the dragon, I guess. It would be a uh, dragon's wrath type deal. But it's not actual dragon's wrath. Not too worried about dying, though, to be honest. <laughs> I'd have to be pretty derpy. It also disables flying, so you can't fly around. So that's definitely a thing. Ah, there we go. There's two. And each one of these guys drop eight. That's actually enough right there. But I'm going to grab one more. Just in case I decide to go ahead and fight the uh, level two version. To fight the level two version, you basically need to just get those guys' spirit tickets. And uh, use those instead, right? So you would use that on the beacon instead. And that kind of deal with that. Anyway, we'll do one more just so we have a buffer. And yeah, this makes the fight totally trivial, <laughs> which is amazing. It's the main reason I want to do it. Here we go. And you can fight more than one at once, but uh, I didn't bring any food. <laughs> there we go. Plus, you start getting knocked back just insanely. It gets obnoxious. Unless you have, yeah. If I had the Infinity Armor, I would just do it for fun. But anyway, that's that. We already have all that. I guess I could have just teleported back, right? So we'll just do that anyway. And uh, we should be able to get our tablet now, which is actually pretty and utterly fantastic. Let's drop that stuff off. Can you? No, you can't turn those ones into the broken records. I was just wondering for the Infinity Catalyst if that was an option. Anyway, let's do that. I'm going to grab some of you. I'm going to turn those into the guy's spirit tickets. That's fantastic. Drop that off. Drop that off. And grab a couple more items we need here. So we're going to need a couple quantum tanks. That's going to be part of the transportation tablet. We're also going to need some more neutronium. Let's grab that. That should be good. I'm trying to remember what else is in there. There's a uh, red matter. We should be able to grab that out of here. Red matter. Grab a stack of that. I know there's HDPE in here. So let's grab you. We have a full uh, thing of that in our compact machine somewhere. <laughs> Not even sure where I put that callback machine, to be honest. That's good. I'm trying to remember what else is in here. Okay, I mean, we can look, right? Go to transmutation tablet. I know there's ender stars, right? That, oh, and MK2s. Let's grab some condensers. Need, what, four of those? And some ender stars. Grab. Hopefully, got a stack. We do. And uh, might have to do another back dragon breath at some point. But anyway. Let's go ahead and grab, what was the last thing? The quantums, I think. That might be everything. I don't know if it is or not. I guess we'll find out in a second. Let's go to trans tab. And uh, see, we got our man. We are missing. Oh, just a table. <laughs> Let's grab a table here. 
Awesome. And uh, we can just call this day, man. We're just about to finish one of the biggest quests here, right? So this is one of them. There's one more after this that is kind of, you know, pretty much the end game, right? Uh, what is going on? What am I missing? Oh, well, that's the wrong one. I was totally confused. And uh, yeah, there you go. Got a transportation tablet. And uh, with that, we should get a quest. Amazing. And yeah, now we can just like walk around and uh, use this thing wherever we are. So if it has EMC, I can just kind of drop it off. Oh, I, did, I didn't know those had EMC. Really? That has Dragon's Breath and it has EMC? I'm actually surprised, <laughs> to be honest, that has EMC. None of that other stuff does, but uh, we can just drop that stuff off in here. So yeah, we have a portable version of this thing now, which is uh, pretty cool. And the first thing I want to do with it, actually, is probably pop it in here. Make a second copy. Ooh. Give me that back. And uh, pop that in system, just in case. Uh, make sure I never lose it, right? Because I don't want to have to deal with that kind of rabbit hole. And uh, I don't need this uh, table anymore. And uh, yeah, we're good to go, man. I mean, we just did a massive step there. That is actually giant. And uh, we don't have a lot left, to be honest. We still have to make the armor. We are going to have to get a Draconic. So that's definitely a thing, because it wants us to make the Wyvern armor. The Draconic armor. We could actually do the Wyvern armor step probably right now. Let's see here. What do we need for Wyvern? Let's see. <laughs> Wyvern cores. Uh, do I have cores in here? I can't remember if I set those up for auto-crafting. I did not. Okay, let's go back to Wyvern. Might as well just do this, right? There's no reason not to do this. So, yeah, we'll just get her done real quick. Let's grab a set of diamond armor. Then we'll kind of move on from there. Sweet. And probably the booties. Also the booties. Always with the booties, man. And then we'll have to do the whole leveling up with this and stuff, too. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Grab the, what is the cores. Give me a second. I need the pattern. That's what I'm going for. This here. There we go. Should be able to auto-craft that now. Then I don't have to worry about those cores. Too bad they don't have EMC. <laughs> let's grab like 64 of them just for fun. Awesome. And uh, let's go to you. We also need the other cores too, right? I think it was these ones. Let's craft like 64 of them. Cool. Then we can go back to Wyvern and hopefully be done with this. Wyvern right there. So there's our helmet. Oh, what are we missing? Am I really out of Draconium? Let's go to Drac. Check that out. Oh, we got tons of it here. Just need to get it done. There we go. Sweet. That's enough of that. Plus we have all that, plus all those nuggets. It's just in all different forms. We have it like in way too many different forms coming into the system. Anyway, let's do that. It's a little laggy too. I don't know what's with refined storage and crafting like stacks at a time. But my, my goodness, it does not like it. <laughs> that lag of how it kind of spawns it in, you know, a couple seconds later. Like I feel like I'm still, yeah, I'm still sitting here waiting for it. Fine storage, man. Everyone talks about how great it is. It is simpler, but it is no, it is no AE2, and uh, I used to defend it. I'm not going to anymore. But anyway, let's go to Wyvern. Boom. Especially on servers. It is not server-friendly for uh, multiple players. It really is not. I've seen so many servers now remove it, and uh, especially when it has both of the systems in it. Anyway, that's cool. We have our Wyvern armor. We should get a quest here, I think. Maybe? What else does it want here? But I made the booties, didn't I? Oh, these aren't boots. <laughs> Those ingots that I'm looking at are boots. Let's do that. And there we go. We should have a quest here. Awesome. Check that out. Claim that. And I just really want to see what they want us to do with the uh, next step here. Pretty cool, man. We're just making the progress. All easy peasy. So yeah, we'd have to do the Draconic. So to do the Draconic itself, let's check that out. Draconic. We would have to do that. So we have to do some infusion here. So I may go ahead and craft up some of these, I guess. Then we'll kind of get that done, kind of move forward. And then I'm probably in between episodes going to power this thing up because uh, we are going to need a whole bunch of armor. I guess the only thing I really need is the armor on it because uh, then we'll begin to fit the armor. Anyway, I just need a giant shield. And okay, I was just about to go ahead and make the Draconic armor. Then I kind of came to the conclusion that uh, why bother? Why bother when we go ahead and make the Draconic armor? We, we can just go ahead and make the Infinity instead. I mean, I will go back and get the Draconic Armor. I mean, like, at least craft the base level. I won't infuse it and make it stronger. Uh, give it any of its abilities. I really don't need to. Uh, because the Infinity Armor, you're pretty much invincible. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go that route instead. The only thing really stopping us is, uh, well, those Infinity Agates. So lots of Neutronium and uh, lots of uh, EMC. So I think we'll deal with it instead that way. So we're going to go ahead and probably finally get it to the 
uh, watches a flowing time. So let's go over to Project E here and kind of see what we need. We need some of these pedestals, these dark matter pedestals. And uh, where's the watch at, man? The watch is probably right there. We need a whole bunch of those. So that's cool. <laughs> let's go make, uh, let's make that many. Does this thing have EMC? It does do. So I really only have to craft one. So I can craft one, kind of like that. Do I have everything for I need for a pedestal? Apparently not. We need some uh, dark matter blocks. Oh yeah, I have a fancy new tablet. Let's go to dark. Let's grab like a stack of that jazz. Pop that in there. And make a stack of these maybe. <laughs> I could only make four. Oh, it has the MC though. So it doesn't even matter. I could just go bam, right? There we go. Oh, let's do this. Let's actually grab a stack this time. Do that. Sweet. And we'll grab uh, a stack of these as well, right? So that's cool. Awesome. So basically what these things do is they 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 speed up machines in the area, right? So you can see there, it gives 18 bonus ticks to nearby blocks every tick. Each tick nearby mobs move 0.1 times the speed. Don't really care about the mob part. I mean, we really don't need to slow them down. If you shift and right click with this thing, it'll kind of fast forward. I think that actually affects time like in the world. And uh, if you kind of power it up uh, with the hotkey there, I think it makes it go faster. <laughs> But uh, we'll go up here. I move so fast. I'm sorry, slow. But you can see the sky is actually moving kind of <laughs> super quick, right? And uh, I think we can set it to rewind. And there we go. It's actually becoming nighttime again. And the stars are going back in the opposite direction, which is pretty neat. I mean, that's just kind of an effect of holding this thing. A little strange. But at the same time, a really cool little item there that you could do stuff like that. There's another option, too. There's off, fast forward, rewind. I guess that's just the three for that. But uh, that's not even important. I mean, that, that, that. It's just kind of a gimmick, right? What we really care about is speeding up these neutron compressors. I think it's what's called. Yeah, neutron compressors here. You can see how fast they are right now. If I take one of these now, put a watch on it, I believe, and then right-click it. <laughs> Look how much faster that is. And I don't know what the current range on these is. Like, I, it used to be like eight blocks around it, I think. I don't know if it's still like that or not. Uh, I used to need to like 34 of these to get up to max speed. But it doesn't look like it works like that anymore. Like, I don't know. Let's actually put down another one right beside it. See if it actually kind of makes it go any faster here. Uh, I obviously messed up my watch. Oh, they don't stack, do they? I'm going to have to, like, grab a whole bunch of them. That's kind of annoying. But anyway, let's do that. Let's kind of turn that on. Do that. And uh, do that. See if that actually... I can't tell. It's going pretty fast. <laughs> That's definitely... Maybe it is going faster. Where's the uh, one of them should be turned on? Oh no, that one's are still there. I think that is going faster, huh? So we don't need an insane amount, but uh, there's no reason not to just set up a giant row of these things. Kind of get that done, right? Oh, I probably need to. I'm guessing I need to empower these, get them up to the max speed. Actually, it does not look like it, because I thought you would have to do this for each one. Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I don't think that made a difference. I'm curious now. How do you get this off? Well, apparently, you can't just shift it off. Let's uh, do this. There we go. And yeah, this is just make our neutrodium super simple now. When I first started the pack, these weren't in the pack. That's why I didn't use them earlier on. Need to remember to right click them after I put them up. But uh, yeah, definitely a pretty neat little thing here. And uh, it's going to make the neutrodium super quick now. It's probably going to add even more lag to my world. But uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. I wish that sound wasn't so loud. Why do mods do that sometimes? Let's make things. <laughs> yeah, this will work. Uh, I, I I could like I think I think if it's like the old ones, it's like 33 or 34 to max it out, um, the max speed. But at the same time, I don't think we need it that fast. I think this could be good. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do this whole room. Let's get it all done. And the only other thing I can think of doing is maybe around our builders. If we did around our builders, uh, we'd get uh, real good speed out of those two. Maybe bring in more EMC. And maybe I'll be able to support a couple more of the MK2s and maybe do that, right? And uh, we'll just start turning these all on. Oh, I turned. Did I? I want to leave you on. Apparently, I missed two. But anyway, I'm not sure how I did that. There we go. And uh, we'll put one here, one here. Sweet, sweet. Oh, I missed one. One there. There we go. There. There we go. And uh, how much... Uh, I'm curious now. How much uh, neutrodium we already have in there. I want to see it actually come in because it's probably going to be really silly. Neutrodium. Yeah, we already got 13k of the nuggets. It's not coming in as quickly as I thought. I mean, it is coming in quickly. 
But it is still probably going to take another hour or two to get all the detrodium we need. Do I have a recipe for that? I don't either. I should really do that. But anyway, let's go and set up the builder. Let's go try these on the builder and uh, see if we can get that going. Because so, yeah, our processing problems are pretty much done. Let's go to Silky first. Let's dial there. Let's kind of check this one out. I guess I could have just used my uh, dislocator, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Reaching that point, man. I'm just curious if we... Uh oh, we got mobs. I thought I set up torches here. Do I have uh, megas in here? I do. Let's do that. Probably didn't do it for this dimension because I'm total derp. Anyway, we'll do that. Do you? I really don't want a creeper around here, to be honest. Sweet. Uh, once you have the armor, you don't even have to worry about mobs anymore, to be honest. <laughs> you can just ignore them. I don't think they could even target you. Anyway, of course the zombies, man. Why do they have to do that hunt down thing? Can, can you come here for a second? Yeah, you go away. Okay. Ah, one more zombie. <laughs> just let me set one of these up. I want to see. I want to see how well, well it works. Let's kind of try. Let's just put two down for now. Let's go up here. Sweet. And, uh, see how this works. I'm a little scared at the same time. I don't even know if we can keep up with the power, to be honest. Because it seems this thing's sided. And you can only take power from so many sides. Um, I'm sorry. So much power from each side, from what I've noticed. Yeah, right now, we can't even keep up. That's going the max speed. I think it's going to go, though. It is definitely going faster than it was. Because <laughs> I was here at one point using an acceleration one just to see how fast it would go. Yeah, it, and that's the max amount of power I get in there. I mean, it won't take any more. That's why I'm using the cryo stabilized. But uh, that'll get us to EMC a little quicker, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our dislocator. Probably head to home. And uh, I'm just kind of curious there. I want to see if we can actually watch the EMC kind of come in any quicker. If it's uh, visible, you know what I mean? Like, is it a visible change? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a visible change. Look how fast that's going now. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really happy I did that. Look how fast that is. That is utterly ridiculous. Okay, let's go. Uh, where do we want to go now? Probably Emerald. Probably do the same thing over there. There we go. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, we'll just get this set up here. Let's kind of grab a pedestal there. Pedestal there. And, uh, yeah, do that and that. Probably set that to max level, just in case. Throw that there, throw that there. And I think we're already taken care of. So I think by the next episode, we'll be able to go ahead and make our Fiddy Armor. Probably go fight the Chaos Dragon. Once we fight the Chaos Dragon, we do, I don't know. It might be one episode or two episodes after this one. We'll actually be done this series. Because uh, we're pretty much nearing the end of it. I need to decide how many of the side quests I'm doing as well. I wonder if these work on the environmental tech machines. Oh, I'm getting lag in this dimension. That's not good. Uh, because if it does work on the environmental tech machines, then maybe we could just power through that quest line as well, just for the sake of doing it, just uh, for the completion. Huh. Anyway, that is awesome. That is really cool. I'm really happy I did that, because uh, that's going to make things uh, better all around. Just just makes my life better. <laughs> makes your life better, too. Do it. Uh, just be careful if you're on a server. That on a server would probably be brutal. So if you're playing with other people, yeah, probably... Probably not want to do that. I have no idea how that got. What? Why is that backed up? Am I bringing in so much that I can't bring it in? What is going on here? I don't understand. <laughs> Speed? Uh, let's go here. Let's go uh, here. Do we have any of the stack upgrades? Stack. These ones? Is that like too slow now? Is that the problem? I can't even tell what's going on. Put a stack upgrade in there. There we go. I may need uh, a couple more importers. We're actually importing too quickly. Stuff is being produced too quick now. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go to importer. Let's do that. Let's go start. We'll just add a second connection. That should deal with it. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of handle it that way. I guess we'll need a cable as well. Let's do a uh, cable. Grab one of them. First world problems, man. We're getting too much stuff to keep up with it. Uh, let's grab couple. We'll need another stack upgrade, too. I wish I'd stop going to tablets, because I usually have this here. Let's do that. There we go. Let's grab um, speed. Probably need three of those, and uh, one more stack. And hopefully this will keep up with it now. Sweet, sweet. Awesome. Yeah, it's caught up now. So, yeah, it's going super insanely fast. We'll get our Neutronium in no time now. That is awesome. Like, everything in life is beautiful and butter. And uh, pretty, pretty amazing all around. Like, how much uh, Neutronium do we have now already? 
Yeah, that's already, like, has that, like, that's gone up a lot. Like, a ton. A, mu a metric butt ton. I don't think I have a recipe for that yet. Let's go to, uh, I actually am not sure. I need to go in here, see what I have recipes for. I want to have a recipe for Neutrodium, because uh, that is a problem. Let's go, we need nuggets, right? So we'd have to do that one there. Do you. Then we'd have to go to the actual ingots, right? So we'll handle that. Awesome. And uh, get that going. And then go to Neutronium. And EU. Come on. There we go. Shift click. And uh, how many of these can we make? Can we make that many? No. We could probably make a little less than that. Maybe do shift click. I wish there was a way to kind of see, you know what I mean? It would predict right here how much it was going to cost so you could know uh, exactly what you need to make. Be good for this ad AE. What is that? What? I don't know what's going on there. I messed up a recipe at some point. I'll fix that later. I'm more curious about this one. So yeah, that'll handle our neutrodium issues. Totally, like hands down. And we probably have a ton of sugarcane in here as well. So we started this video. I had about, what, 300 blocks. And uh, we're already back up there. And that other blocks last time took a lot longer than this, like a large amount of time. I'll at some point get used to that not being there too. Anyway, that's that. That's pretty awesome. And uh, I think I'm going to probably wrap this video up here. I mean, we've dealt with a lot today. We've got our tablet, we've got our Sword of the Cosmos, and uh, we're going to have our empty, uh, Infinity Armor probably at the start of the next video. So, totally awesome. So, anyway, I think I am going to wrap this one up here. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.